Here we go again, fact checking the so-called fact checkers. Don't get me wrong, I love doing this work, but it can't be a good sign for this country when a 40 year old stay at home dad is a more reliable source than ABC News. And these were the president's words. He said, I'm not about taking away anyone's guns. In fact, we believe we should be treating responsible gun owners as an example of how every gun owner should behave in this country. And then he laid it out. <laughs> more like, and then he completely contradicted himself. Here's what the president wants to happen in this country. He said, we need to ban assault weapons in this country. We heard the president say this again. He has said this in the recent weeks after previous mass shootings and now uh, after Tulsa has been added to the list here. He, he said once again that we should reinstate the assault weapons ban that passed in 94 with bipartisan support. We know that lasted 10 years. Uh, it was allowed to expire uh, when Republicans were uh, in control. Uh, he talked about the stats after it expired. He said mass shootings went down while the assault weapons ban was in effect. Wrong. When they expired in 2004, he said those weapons were allowed to be sold again mass shootings have tripled. Wrong. Has our team had time to fact check that? David, we think he's citing a New York University study showing a slight decrease in mass shootings when the assault weapons ban was in place and a surge in a decade right after it was uh, allowed to lapse. And in fact, we know we've seen a dramatic rise in mass shootings recently, so that is not in debate, David. See, now that's some bullshit. All right, before I smash this fake fact check, there's a couple of things we have to make clear. I know a lot of you already know this stuff, but for those of you who are new to this topic, the term mass shooting doesn't have a solid definition. And when the Democrats or their media use it, it's usually to bolster a deceptive claim to push their agenda. More people are shot in a single event. Look at these numbers. According to the Gun Violence Archive, there were 417 mass shootings in 2019. By last year, that number had spiked to 693. That's an incredible 66% jump. The pace of shooting so far this year, mass shootings may be slowing down a tad, but we appear to be maintaining a high level of such shootings. We're now in an era where we can say mass shootings are chronic, sustained, and sadly routine. I'm sure you must be thinking to yourself, over 200 mass shootings, I can only think of a few of them. When were they reported? And I'm saying this not to downplay any of those shootings, but that being said, none of us have heard about any of these other 200 mass shootings. Why? Because they were mostly gang related shootings that met the criteria of more than four people shot. The Gun Violence Archive, as well as the Mass Shooting Tracker, which were launched in 2013, Basically, they said, well, you know, there's nothing in the phrase mass shooting that implies death. So they decided to, they kept the threshold of four more people shot. Mm -hmm. They said, well, sh shot, they could either be injured or dead. Problem is, it's, it's uh, confusing to people. And part of the reason mm -hmm. why it's confusing is those, those statistics of four more people shot, not, ne not necessarily killed, they are always brought out for context in the press and on television in the wake of a mass killing when 10 people are murdered. Right. Uh, you know, like, like, for example, Boulder, Colorado, the next day you see all these citations. So, oh, there's hundreds of mass shootings a year. Well, they're different. Those are different. Mm -hmm. In fact, in the gun violence archive mass shootings, on average, there's one person killed per case. In fact, half of the cases, no one gets killed. However, they will use the raw, no context data in order to scare people into accepting gun bans. And when it comes to labels like assault weapons or assault rifles, it's the exact same game at play. You mentioned you want weapons of war out of circulation. What is a weapon of war to you? We assault weapons, assault weapons. So is that like semi-automatic handguns and rifles? Semi-automatic weapons would qualify as assault weapons. And these are things that should be banned. You almost take almost every gun off of, out of people's hands. I mean, I mean, handguns, for example, would not qualify uh, under, under what I just described. 
I got, I'm sorry, I gotta go. The AR-15 was literally designed as a civilian weapon. It's not automatic and no military in the world uses it. So what exactly makes it a weapon of war any more than a handgun? An assault weapon can literally be any gun or any weapon for that matter. An assault rifle, on the other hand, is a very specific military issued fully automatic rifle that the public at large cannot get. The AR-15 rifle that civilians can get are semi-automatic, which means one trigger pull, one shot. The game here, again, is to conflate semi-automatic with automatic, so that the general public thinks that when they hear semi-automatic, we're talking about fully automatic machine guns. David, we think he's citing a New York University study showing a slight decrease in mass shootings. <laughs> you think? Wow, that's some real top-notch, just the facts, hard-hitting journalism right there. When the assault weapons ban was in place and a surge in a decade right after it was uh, allowed to lapse. And in fact, we know we've seen a dramatic rise in mass shootings recently, so that is not in debate, David. Wrong. All the information I just gave you is critical to understanding why everything they just said is not true and purposely deceptive. Everybody knows at this point, I thought, that handguns are responsible for the vast majority of mass shootings. Because again, most of these mass shootings are gang related and they're using handguns. In fact, the only mass shooting that I can think of that occurred at that time using a rifle was Columbine. They use shotguns and handguns. Moving on, he claims that this isn't even debatable because obviously mass shootings have gone up since this ban was lifted. Again, connecting two things that aren't related. AR-15s weren't used in those mass shootings and they're not being used in two thirds of mass shootings now. So when they perform a fact check to back up Bynes claim that that these shootings all dropped during the assault weapons ban is incredibly deceptive. It's purposely misleading. It has to be because they have to know that in the vast, vast majority of these shootings, it's illegal handguns being used. The truth is no so-called ban of assault weapons is going to stop these shootings. The only thing that's going to stop a psychotic person with a gun is another person with a gun or a show of force. In other words, good security that would deter any would be attacker. We need to spend a lot of money on security for school. Schools. That's it. That is the only way. But I think we all know the left, Democrats, and their media are not at all interested in that solution. The only thing that they want to do is take away your guns, law-abiding people who just want them to defend themselves and their families, and also to keep communists like them at bay. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks a lot for watching. Please smack that like button, share this video, and leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Have a great weekend. Thanks a lot.